every day from work to school to sports to clubs and every minute in between. We're hurrying, we're running. Life has never been busier. And when it comes to our kids, therapist Simone Yeoman says that can be a problem. The constant going, the overload of expectations, the pressure that comes with those expectations are just, that comes a breaking point. And children reach that fairly quickly. She points to a rise in childhood anxiety and depression, plus addiction to screens and problems sleeping, so I have created the first ever <laughs> stillness studio. That's right, a class on how to be still again. We give the body immediately the signal of, oh yes, I can relax. To clear their mind and rediscover their own thoughts, feelings, and imagination. Stillness cuts through every single form of identification, whether that be religious, social, cultural, stillness is what we all have. It's like our very first language. Kids and adults are learning how to remember that language through stillness and meditation techniques offered during regular sessions. Who would have guessed years ago we'd need to retrain our brains to be still? But Yeomans is now holding class several times a day, several days a week. I just think that they are like inundated with screens and um, just a lot of time that is very distracting. So I think they need that downtime. Truly a sign of our times. Yeomans says she's hoping to expand her stillness classes into schools eventually. Since opening, she's also heard from other mental health professionals around the country interested in doing the same thing in their own communities.